tutorial, you'll be learning how to apply fountain fills using the Object Properties Docker to create unique text effects. The Enhanced Object Properties Docker introduces new interactive controls that help you browse, preview and transform fountain fills in more ways than ever before. This is the logo we will be working with. We'll begin with the word Tail. With the object selected, click on the Fill settings in the Object Properties Docker, then click on Fountain Fill. Let's begin by looking at the Fill Picker. In the Fill Picker, you can choose from locally stored fills or those available in the Content Exchange. The Content Exchange is an online repository that gives you access to content provided by Corel and those shared by a community of users. This content can be downloaded and is accessible to anyone with a Core.com account. When you click on a content in the Content Exchange, a pop-up appears to show you the preview, the name, who it's by and any keywords associated with it. It also shows you what type of content it is. P indicates premium content, S indicates standard content and C indicates community content shared by other users. You have the opportunity to vote up or vote down the asset and you can sort assets in the content exchange based on the results of user voting and you can instantly set any asset that catches your eye in the content exchange as a favourite, which is a quick and convenient way to keep a list of content that you might want to download later. Let's mark this pattern as a favourite and upvote a few fills here. Now when you click on the Favourites or the Upvotes library, you will see a list of fills that you have chosen as favourites or upvoted. Note that you can also downvote the fill or uncheck the favourite icon to remove it from those libraries. If you want to copy a fill from the Content Exchange to your personal library, Click on More Options and click on the Copy to Personal button. When you click on Personal, you will see the fills that you have copied to your personal folder. You can also search for specific fills in the Content Exchange by typing in a keyword. For example, we'll type in Stripes in the search bar and press enter. Now you will see all the fills that are associated with stripes. You can also sort the fills based on search results. Let's sort the fills by top. We'll select one of these fills to apply to the object. Once the fill is applied, you can modify it using the controls in the docker or by using the interactive fill tool. For now, we'll use the interactive fill tool. When you click on a colour node, you can interactively change the colour and transparency. The free scale and skew feature gives you an extra handle which allows you to skew or stretch the fill disproportionately. Let's make the stripes look more narrow and slanted.
Now that we have modified the fill, let's give the object an outline to make it stand out better. We'll sample the outline colour from the fill and give it a thicker outline. The outline position options let you place the object's outline on either the outside, the centre or the inside of the object. Let's place the outline on the inside to keep the original size and make the corners bevelled. We will continue by applying a fountain fill to the ribbon behind this text. This time we will create a custom fountain fill using the controls in the Object Properties Docker. Let's apply a linear fill this time. To add an intermediate colour to the fountain fill, simply double click on the colour band where you want to add a node. Or drag a colour from the colour palette into the band. Let's add a couple more nodes here. To remove a node, simply double click on the node you want to remove. You can change the transparency of a node by changing the value in the node transparency box. To change the position of a node, simply drag the node across the colour band or change the value in the node position box. Now let's take a look at some of the blend transition options. Here you have the option to reverse the fill, to keep the default fill, to repeat the fill or repeat and mirror the fill. Let's reverse the fill and repeat and mirror it to make it look more interesting. You can also specify how quickly the fountain fill blends from one colour to another by moving the acceleration slider. To create smoother colour transitions between fountain fill nodes, click on the smooth button. You'll notice the difference that it makes. Now that we have set the blend transition, we'll make some transformations to the fill. You can specify values in the position, size, skew and rotate boxes, or you can interactively transform the fill by using the interactive fill tool. Again, the free scale and skew feature lets you make the fill appear skewed or stretched disproportionately. Once you have finished modifying the fill, you can save and share the fill by clicking on the Save as New button. In the dialog box, you can choose a language from the list box. Type a name for the fill. And add any tags or keywords you want to associate with it. If you want to share the fill with the content exchange, select the checkbox and choose a category from the list. Keep in mind that you need to be signed in to your core.com account to access and share content on the content exchange. Click OK. If you go to the fill picker, you'll now see that the fill 
has been added to your personal library. And the content exchange. This concludes the tutorial on applying fountain fills using the new and enhanced controls in the Object Properties Docker. Be sure to watch the next video in the training series, which shows you how to use patterns, a new iOS app by Corel to browse, create and share seamless patterns.